Advertisers use all sorts of techniques to catch an audience's eye and keep its attention. Often they use drama and humor to encourage interest in the product. But what happens if a viewer takes the silliness seriously? The Federal District Court in New York City addressed that question in the 1999 case of Leonard v. PepsiCo. PepsiCo Incorporated produced and sold Pepsi products. PepsiCo ran a promotion that encouraged consumers to collect Pepsi points from specially marked packages of Pepsi or Diet Pepsi. Pepsi points could be used to buy Pepsi stuff, merchandise usually bearing the Pepsi logo. PepsiCo listed the available items in a catalog and released an order form as part of the promotion. PepsiCo ran an ad campaign publicizing the Pepsi points promotion. One ad showed a high school-aged boy wearing various items of available clothing. It then showed the same boy flying a military Harrier jump jet and landing it at his school. The ad then indicated that the Harrier jet could be purchased for 7 million Pepsi points. PepsiCo published a catalog of available merchandise, mostly clothing items, and the number of Pepsi points each item cost. The catalog didn't list the jet. The catalog did mention that if a buyer didn't have enough Pepsi points, additional points could be purchased for 10 cents each, as long as the customer's order included at least 15 actual Pepsi points. John Leonard really wanted the jet. He calculated that 7 million Pepsi points cost $700,000. At the time, the military jet cost about $23 million, even assuming that a civilian could buy one. Through friends, Leonard raised $700,000. He sent in his 15 actual Pepsi points, a check for $700,000, and a Pepsi stuff order form in which he ordered the jet. PepsiCo returned his check and responded that the ad was supposed to be funny. The letter indicated the jet wasn't really available. After an exchange of correspondence, PepsiCo sued Leonard in the United States District Court for the Southern District of New York, seeking a declaratory judgment that it didn't owe him the jet. PepsiCo filed a motion for summary judgment, arguing that Leonard couldn't prove his claim.